Good day everyone. Let's work out this question on geometric series. We have an accountant who has been offered a five-year contract and his, we are given his salary in the third year and in the fifth year and we are told that his increase, the increase follows a geometric series. So let's work out part A, his salary for the first year. Let us remember that for a geometric series progresses like this but the first term is a second term is a times r third term a r squared fourth term a r cubed fifth term a r to the fourth power and so on so let me just make this clearer r to the power 3 right so we have the third year salary so that would be r squared so we have r squared in equal to 5 3 9 8 2 point eight zero, and we have the fifth year salary here so this is the third year this is the fifth year <coughs> that is er to the power four equal to six zero five nine eight eight nine we are asked to find the salary for the first year so let us call this equation one let's call the other one equation two so we want to divide equation two by equation one so let's do that so we are saying ar to the power four divided by er squared is equal to 6598.89 divided by 53982.80 we will be sorting our calculators so we have 6598.89 divided by 53982.80 So we have 1.12 So when we cancel this E will cancel with E. <coughs> R squared. I'm going to R to the power 4 to give R squared. So what we get is R squared being equal to our answer from the calculator 1.123 to 3 decimal places. So to find R, we have to find the square root. Of 1.123 and that will give us one point zero one point one. So we have R. So therefore, if we have R. We can find out the value of E. Remember, E is equal, if we use equation 1, we can substitute and say E is equal to 53982.80. Right, so this is from equation 1. We divide by our 
1.123 here which is our square so let us see what we get Four eight zero seven zero point two six. Okay, so we have four eight zero seven zero and twenty six cents. So this is our value in terms of money. This is his salary for the first year, which is the first term of the sequence. And that's the answer for part A. So let us look at part B now. <coughs> his total salary at the end of the contract. So we yeah, want to find S5 and we use this formula we sum to the n term is equal to a times 1 minus r to the n over 1 minus r where r is not equal to 1 so we want to find the sum to the fifth term so that will be a times 1 minus 1.1 1 .1 to the 5 all over 1 minus 1.1 1 .1. and so what you get is 4807020.26 let's go to our calculator At 1.61 all over negative 0 0.1 on each year. So we will have 48070.26 negative 0 0.61. All over negative 0 0.1. So this out. We have two nine three two two eight point five nine. And fifty nine cents posted over dollar sign, and this is our answer the total salary earned at the end of the contract. Have a good day.